welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here and what's up my name is hannah or miss bomb and my channel typically focuses around fitness faith wellness lifestyle but we do a little bit of everything around here okay so if you're interested in anything like that go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and we would love for you to join the community if you're returning hey besties what's up i'm so glad you're here so good to see you again so today's video is going to be kind of short sweet to the point but at the end of the video i have a huge announcement some exciting news that I've been working on. So stay tuned for that. If you want to hear more about it, then watch through the entire video because baby girl is going to be quick. <laughs> it's going to be really, really quick. I've been meaning to film this video for a while now because it's just short, sweet to the point kind of thing. Um, I know you guys really like the video of what I keep in my bag, like my travel essentials and things like that with the, um, the tote bag, the Marc Jacobs bag. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it somewhere. Um, go check it out. Yeah. So that's about it. So today's video is going to be a what's in my gym bag 2023 edition. So here's the thing. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to lie. I don't always take a huge gym bag to the gym. I just don't feel like I need it all the time. You feel me? So I ended up getting a really cute gym bag and now it's got to go with me every single time, girl, because it's just cute, right? I just like it. You know, it is what it is. You love the bag. I got to take it with me now. But I will say there are some essentials that I typically do take to the gym, especially on lifting days, which if you know me, you know I like to lift. So it goes with me most days. All of these things that are in my bag will be linked down below. The bag itself will be linked down below. Um, the products I use, things like that. I don't have all of them, but I will go over some of them with you guys today. Let's go ahead and get into the bag. Okay, so before we get into the bag, I want to apologize for the lighting in here. It's kind of funky. It's my new office, which if you watched my, not the travel vlog, but the vlog before, I was putting this office together and it came together real cute. I'll show you guys that in the next vlog. Um, but I wanted to apologize for the lighting. I think I can fix it when I edit, but I'm not entirely sure. So if it's terrible, I'm so sorry. Please just take the point of the video <laughs> of what's in my bag and I'll, I'll get better. Okay, I'll so the bag itself is this. I don't know how you say it, base maybe? It's Shay Mitchell's line of, you guys know all of her luggage. It's beautiful, literally, mm, it's beautiful. I don't have it yet, but I do have this gym bag, okay? Okay, so I have the one in black. They also have, I don't know what they call, like a natural beige tan kind of color. It's beautiful as well, but if you know me, you know all of my stuff is like black. And I think it's kind of also because I like to keep it clean and it's a little easier to not see all the dirt and everything else on the black bag so that's the reason that i wanted the black one um also everything else that i use is pretty much black i like to keep it just like all simple i wear black all the time it is what it is right okay so let's get into the bag all right so first it's a duffel bag um it does have the long strap too which i actually use this one a lot more than i thought i would especially because it, it gets kind of heavy you know once i have all my stuff in here so this is the bag. Let me turn it around, show you this is the bag. Now, the reason I was sold on this bag is it has a pocket back here. And I believe these have a name, which unzip this and it becomes a full right here. The little pouch thing. Okay, I shouldn't say a pouch. If it's zipped, it's a pouch. If it's unzipped, it opens like this. And then this goes down on top of like, what is that? The tall handle on the luggage. And then the bag just sits on top of the luggage and you roll it through the airport. I mean, genius, like genius. And I want to say most of her bags have this um, that aren't the luggage so that you can piece them together. And it's just so smart. The other thing with this bag. Okay, so here's the bag. You zip it to the side and there's a zipper right here. Okay, because you also have this. And I think people say that like you can carry your water bottle or like hook things there or whatever. I don't, but I guess you could. Okay, so this unzips and then wait for it, wait for it. Like if I don't even just sell you on the bag itself, like this bag. Okay, so we have a strap here. Down here, there's this little piece right here. Underneath here is a clip for this. Hooks up in here. There's two straps. Another one comes out of here, okay? Hooks on and now, voila, it's a backpack. It's a backpack. So when you're traveling or when it's super heavy and you're going to the gym, or if you're just a backpack girly or guy or whoever's watching this, it's a backpack. I literally was like, sold, sold. Because how often, and this is, this might just be me. 
I'm in the airport and I'm like, oh my gosh, my shoulder is hurting so bad because my back is so heavy. But if you have a strap like that and you can put both of those on and put it on your back, the pain is like little, right? So that is the bag itself. We do have this little um, compartment pouch. What am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Right here, the little zipper. I have, first things first, deodorant. Do not go to the gym without this, period. <laughs> Nobody wants to smell you stinking. Just take your deodorant, okay? Okay. This one's just a regular pH balance secret, shower fresh, so. So along with smells, I also have, clearly I've used this one a lot. This is the Mix Bar. It's just like a body body and hair spray. Um, this one is whipped almond, and this is like a mist, I should say, because I don't wear full perfume to the gym typically, unless I'm coming from somewhere that I already had it on, then that, you know, but I don't typically put on perfume to go to the gym. We're not there yet, girl. Um, <laughs> maybe one day, but not right now. So this one's whipped almond. My mom, I got her the coconut one, and that one smells incredible. These are found at Target, only 10 bucks. Go get you one. They smell incredible. Okay. Next thing, oh, this is kind of beat up, don't judge me, is gum. This one's my favorite. It's the Orbit Winter Mint Gum. So I don't like, I don't typically get a dry mouth when I, you know, lift or anything, but sometimes I just like to chew gum when I'm working out. So always have gum in here or, you know, can't be having stank breath either. So get yourself some gum. Next thing, chapstick. I love Burt's Bees chapstick because it's not super silky. It's kind of like thicker. It stays on. Um, and I always like to have chapstick on or lip gloss or something when I'm working out. Okay, so there's that. And then the last thing in this little pocket are my AirPods. So the reason I keep my AirPods in the front pocket are because I toss them in, like if I'm running into the gym or whatever, because these stay in my um, purse. So because I can use these, you know, wherever. I just like that they're little whatever. So these go in the front pocket because of that reason. So those stay there. Now let's get into the actual bag itself. You know, you have this nice little Velcro strap right here works for me right okay there's another little extra pocket right here i don't use it i don't really know what it's for but you know this bag has a lot of boxes i really really do highly recommend this bag and like i said i'll link it below okay so here's one thing i'm just going to tell you and this to me has been like all gym bags i've ever used it's just one bag everything's in here okay so i'm just going to be pulling stuff out there's no like organization to it, to be fair. <laughs> I'm gonna try to like keep things together so I can go over things with you together. But at the same time, don't judge me. It's just, it's just tossed in here. Okay, okay. So first things first, <clears throat> excuse me. I always have a blender bottle um, because I keep all of my supplements, if you will, in here. Not my nutrition ones necessarily, but like my gym supplements. I keep most of them in here. Um, so I always have my blender bottle with me and just to shake it up when I get to the gym, so on and so forth, right? Okay, so I like the shorter ones um, because I do keep, this isn't in my gym bag, but I wanted to show you guys this because it's super, super, super important to stay hydrated during workouts and all day long, right? I don't have a water bottle that I can toss in here because my Stanley goes everywhere, okay? So, and of course it's black to match the bag. So that was like kind of the other thing too, is like I have my whole outfit right now is with Gymshark. I do love Gymshark stuff, but it's all black, okay? So I always have this with me, but I, I do encourage you and recommend that you have an actual water bottle with you. Um, and then I do keep my, I take this around the gym. It just helps keep me hydrated. I stay on it if I can drink out of it. I don't know, girl. You need a water bottle, okay? So speaking of supplements, let's just go ahead and get straight into the, okay. If you've been following me for a while, you know this is one of my absolute favorite supplements in the entire world. <laughs> and this is also my favorite flavor is the mango. So this is Oxy Shred. It's a thermogenic um, fat burner, whatever. I love it because it's filled with like tons of nutrients and vitamins as well. And it's like mood enhancing. Um, it does help you sweat a little more, obviously the thermogenic side of it. Um, and it gives you a little bit of boost of energy. I personally don't typically get jitters from it. It doesn't give you that feeling of... Um, pre-workout jitters or you know you know people like talk about they have like tangling and stuff you know i don't like that so this is what i use i also have the non-stem which you guys will see sometimes if i'm working out after 5 p.m i use the non-stem just because i am kind of sensitive to caffeine i don't as in like i'll be up all night if i take it after five so i take this one the mango i like the raspberry refresh um, and the non-stem i heard the mojito one is really good as well but i will link all of these below it is ehp labs 
love their products. I have a few more I'm going to share with you, um, but definitely recommend, definitely recommend this one. So there's that one. Next thing we have, I stack this with the Oxy Shred. It is the acetylcarnitine, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure. This basically just extends. It helps with weight loss, but it actually just extends what the Oxy Shred does. So these two combined, girl, you're getting a really, really, really good sweat. Highly recommend these two together. I use these. This one is what I stack with the Oxy Shred on my upper body and cardio days. And then let me show you the next one of what I stack with leg day. I just started taking this. It's creatine, okay? Um, I was super nervous because I think creatine, and I've been in the fitness world for a really long time. And when I think creatine, I think of like big bulky men or big bulky women. I don't want that. I want to try to keep a feminine figure, but also lift, you know, and be lean muscle, right? But the more research I did on this and the more studying and everything like that, this is the most studied supplement. So I'm like, okay, so I did research on it and it actually just helps um, with endurance during your workouts as well as um, creating more lean muscle. So I am trying to build more muscle. Um, I lost a lot of it in the last few months due to several different reasons, but so I am adding this on my leg days um, with the Oxy Shred. And if I don't have Oxy Shred, because sometimes I don't use Oxy Shred right before my workouts, the majority of the time I do, but if not, I just put this in with my BCAAs, which I'm gonna show you next, and I drink that during my workout. So this one is going well so far. I'll report back later to let you know um, any personal results I've had with this or anything like that, um, but I've seen a lot of people be successful using this. So there's that one. Always keep my BCAAs, the Beyond one. This one's really good, it's Kiwi Strawberry. This is the only one I've ever actually used because I really like it. Um, but I drink this during my workouts, and like I said, on leg day, I'll have my creatine with it sometimes. Um, if not, I still just take this. So these are BCAAs, these are gonna help. Um, recover your muscles and also soreness at least it's helped with my soreness so the electrolytes in it so they help um also keep you hydrated so that is the last supplement i'm going to talk about today <laughs> and y'all know these are not my nutrition products i use r1 nutrition products which we'll talk about in another video because i don't keep any of that stuff in my bag okay next thing we have is a brush matter of fact <laughs> my hair is everywhere right now i just got it cut Besides the point, but I always keep this brush in here. It is one of the wet brushes. Um, I find that it's easy just to use this kind all the time. So keep this in there. I was kind of like dropping things if you hear it. <laughs> okay, I do keep a hat because sometimes I just need to be in my own little zone. So I will like put this hat on and just be out the way. If my hair is in the way or whatever, I always just have a hat handy. Um, right now, this is just a regular Nike one. Of course, it's black because I mean, what other color would it be? Okay, next thing, well, since we're talking about that kind of stuff, dry shampoo, I don't know why I shook that up as if I was about to put this in my hair right now, but dry shampoo, gotta have it. Also gotta have the dark one because I obviously have really dark hair and if you use the one that's not dark, I don't need white patches everywhere. So this is the way to go. I always keep that in there. These two things, um, are together don't judge me i need a new one <laughs> it's been a while but i always keep this in my bag my sweet sweat along with the workout enhancer so you put this on your body and then the band around like a waist kind of thing it does make me sweat a little more i personally think it's more of just like a i feel like i got a really good workout if i wear it because i feel the sweat i don't know that it actually does anything if you want the truth but I do like it, and I will say, if I keep this on tight enough, it helps with my form to keep my core tight. So there are benefits to it as far as like it getting fat off like that. I, I don't think that that's a thing, but I mean, hey, it's each their own, right? So whatever you prefer. Okay, so then I have my booty band. I prefer these ones. It's like the, what is this? More of like a cloth feel. And then on the inside, these little red things are rubbery, so it doesn't slide off. Um, the ones that are just like the regular booty bands, those fall off, they slide off my legs, they roll up my legs. Um, so this is the one I prefer. I will link something similar to this below because I couldn't find these ones, but I'll link something similar. Um, but I definitely recommend these. I don't use these for every single workout, obviously. I use these to warm up with, um, and then sometimes if I can't find weights that are heavy enough, I'm doing legs or what have you, or if I'm doing a home workout or I'm doing a functional room workout or anything like that, I'll put this on to kind of just 
create more tension so that it, the workout is a little harder, if you will. Um, so yeah, booty bands. Okay, random. I keep a towel in here to wipe myself down with, to wipe myself off with, nothing special. Just an, an extra little towel. Um, let's see. Gloves. So I was gonna show you guys. I got a callus the other day. <laughs> Cause I just got back into, well, I mean, I consistently lift, but I'm like really back, back routine, okay? So I got a callus. So I'm sorry, I don't care how goofy I look. I don't care if these things got purple and black and gray and whatever other color they got. I don't want rough man hands. So it ain't happening. Your girl's wearing these when I lift. I wear them on leg days, I wear them on arm days. It doesn't matter. I'm wearing these gloves. Okay, so I carry these around. These aren't necessary to carry, <laughs> obviously, in your bag. These are just my little ankle weights. Um, I think these are more so in my bag because I was traveling. Um, and sometimes I use these, you know, for warm ups or afterwards, like little burnout things. So those aren't really necessary. I just keep them in here. Okay. Then, oh no. Oh, here's the other one. Okay. These are like ankle straps you know, for cable kickbacks, things like that, or any anything you need to do with the cables. I do keep these in here. Um, you can kind of see their Velcro as well. I keep them because sometimes gyms, you have to ask for them. Um, at my gym, you do not, but I like to have them with me just in case. Okay, so when I say I lie to you, it's because I have another thing <laughs> of EHP Labs. These new Blessed Protein bars, so good. So they're gluten-free, they're like plant-based, vegan friendly non-gmos only 179 calories this one is the chocolate peanut butter caramel flavor girl so good now i will say it does have a little bit of like a protein bar vibe because i'm like kind of weird about that doable very good quick because sometimes afterwards um i work at this gym so sometimes people will get to talking to me or i'll get to working after my workout and i'm like i am starving these are my go-to so i keep two of these in my bag and then the last thing that's actually in here I believe, and I'll show you the inside of the bag, are my Beats. Um, I just have the regular black studio ones. I'm not gonna lie, I love these. I love these, I love my AirPods, but I love these. I switch back and forth between them, but a lot of the time if I'm doing like a lifting, these are my go-to, I just like them. <laughs> okay, so the inside of the bag. We have little pockets right here. We have a zipper pocket in here. And then on this side, two more pockets. They're kind of bigger. You keep your things in them. And then we also have this bag. It comes with this bag. Now, you could use this for your shoes. Um, let me see her. Yeah. So it's called a dirt bag, <laughs> which is so funny to me. Um, but you can keep your shoes in there. You could keep your dirty clothes in there, your dirty towels in there, anything like that. Um, but this comes with the bag. And then I just leave it, you know, flat on the bottom of the bag. So yeah, I think that is it for the bag itself. Now I gotta put everything back in there. Oh, you know what? Two more things I forgot to tell you guys that are usually in my bag. Um, so the hip thrust, the actual, like the padding for that. So sometimes I'll bring that with me depending on what gym I'm going to. The last thing that I usually have in my bag, or I do always have in my bag, is the tripod that you guys are on right now. <laughs> so I will link it below so you know which one it is, but at the same time, I'm not gonna like, you know, take my phone out to show it to you. It's a tripod, it works. Um, it's what I use in the gym when I film my workouts and things like that. So I will link that one below. But I think that's everything that's in my bag. Okay, so now for the big exciting announcement. Um, I am launching Bomb Body Fitness and um, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I've been working on this for a really long time. You guys know I'm really passionate about fitness, health and wellness in general. So as for now, I will be doing a six and eight week program that you can purchase. It'll be on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check that out below. Um, I will link my Instagram handle there. And then also you'll be able to get it online through my YouTube. So there'll be those two options as well as virtual and online one-on-one -on -one training. Um, and those will all be available starting in July of 2023. So in a few weeks actually, so I'm like super excited. Um, so excited to work with you all, so excited to work together. And then moving forward from there, I want to transition more so into possibly an app, but also more just a big community because I really wanna focus on health and wellness as a whole. Um, so as much as it is Bomb Body Fitness, it's just gonna be more so like Bomb Body Wellness because I also wanna speak on mental health. Um, 
you know, and things like that. I want to touch into that and like meditation and really taking care of yourself as a whole. Okay. Anyhow, I'm super excited to work with you all um, and just have this new journey together. There's so much to come. I have like really big goals and dreams and we're going to hit them, girl. By the grace of God, we're going to hit them. Um, it's been on my heart for a long time to do this. So we're going for it. Um, and obviously bomb body just it just came to me. It was like in January, February, I just moved to DC and I was at the gym and people were asking me about workouts and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what? Like my passion really still is in fitness. So I really need to focus in on that. I feel like, you know, I have a purpose in that and it's part of God's plan for me. So we are rolling with it. And he just, I was at the gym one day and it just came to my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, like bomb body, like girl, you got a bomb body. You know what I mean? So I was just like, oh, gosh like bomb body so that's where it comes from um it's funny because miss bomb is not my name um but we're rolling with it bomb is part of my last name so we're rolling with it bomb body fitness i cannot wait and like i said we're virtual um you know online and in person i don't think i said that but i will be training people in person if you are close to me if you're not close to me um Every now and then I will try to come to you so, you know, we can meet because I want to meet. We'll do things on Zoom and things like that. Anyways, that's my super exciting news. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I see you soon. If you watched all of today's video, I love you so, 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 so much. And until next time, babes, I will see you in my next. Bye.